Hey everyone, welcome to Health Chronicle. Have you ever heard people talk about macronutrients and micronutrients but had no clue what they actually mean? Well, you're not alone. Today, we're breaking it all down in a way that's super easy to understand. And I promise, no complicated science talk. Let's get started. So every bite of food you eat contains a mix of two types of nutrients, macronutrients and micronutrients. Think of macronutrients as the big players that give your body energy, while micronutrients are like the small but mighty helpers that keep everything running smoothly. Both are essential for your health and today, we're going to see why. First up, macronutrients, or macros for short. These guys are your body's main fuel source. There are three types, and you definitely eat them every day even if you don't realize it. Carbs are your body's favorite source of quick energy. If your body were a car, carbs would be like gasoline, they keep you running. Your brain alone needs about 100 grams of carbs daily just to function properly. Foods like bread, pasta, fruits, and even veggies have carbs. So they're not the enemy, despite what some diets might say. Protein is famous for muscle building, but it does so much more. It helps your body repair itself keeps your immune system strong, and even plays a role in producing hormones. You can find protein in meat, fish, eggs, dairy, beans, and even nuts. Now, fats get a bad rep, but they're super important. They help your body absorb vitamins, keep your hormones balanced, and provide long-lasting energy. Healthy fats come from foods like avocados, nuts, and olive oil. So don't be afraid of them. Quick fun fact, carbs and protein have 4 calories per gram, while fats have 9 calories per gram. That's why fatty foods tend to be more calorie dense. Alright, so we've covered macros but what about micronutrients? These are your vitamins and minerals and while you don't need them in large amounts, they're absolutely crucial. The best way to get enough micronutrients? Eat a variety of foods. Different foods provide different vitamins and minerals. For example, an orange is loaded with vitamin C, while leafy greens are packed with iron. The more colorful your plate, the better. So, now that you know about macros and micros, how do you use this info in real life? It's actually pretty simple. A balanced plate might look something like this. Some protein, some carbs, some healthy fats, and a good mix of micronutrient-rich foods. Now eating right is super important, but let's not forget about exercise. Staying active helps with weight management, builds muscle, and improves your overall health. So whether it's walking, yoga, or hitting the gym, moving your body is just as important as eating well. Alright, that's a wrap on today's video. Now you know the difference between macronutrients and micronutrients and how they work together to keep you healthy. If you found this helpful, give this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and drop a comment below telling me your favorite healthy meal. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Like, subscribe and stay healthy.